everyone thanks for tuning in to 2k sports for this nba presentation this is kevin harlan joined by greg anthony steve smith and on the sideline david aldridge it'll be the visiting team facing detroit Ball with it. Outside jumper. Pass the ball. Six to shoot. Yep, that one goes. I, I'm a fan of how Ball uses that size inside. Excellent at getting a shot off close to the basket. Now here's Wallace. Mug Crady with the ball. Picked up by Elijah Watt. In the corner, Wallace with it. Drops in the tray. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to Elijah Watt. Over Sabonis. And it's Elijah Watt missing. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. And the rejection by Smith. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Smith's got his first two points. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. And how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? Why is Juwan no luck? Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position, does a good... Whoa! Yes. The big-time vertical shumper. This is him just having fun. Murray surveying the D. Pass to Sabonis. Out to Wallace. And the slam by Wallace. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. From deep. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got five now. I tell you, it's unorthodox to watch, but Ball shoots the ball with tremendous rhythm and confidence from beyond. Here's McGrady. Rebound by Smith. Here's Ball. He has five. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. He has seven. And the focus there, when Ball is close to the rim, He's really good at getting good shots up and over the defense. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Here's 
Here's McGrady. Pass to Sabonis. Out they get it back. Back to McGrady. Over Elijah Wan. Detroit, no good that time either. Ah, nice move inside. Has the defender beat. Just fails to finish. Shumpert in the corner. Back to ball. Elijah Wan with it. Smith for three. Hits the three-point bomb. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Bagley. Back to Murray. It's stolen by Amon Shumpert. Now, here is Elijah Wan. It's deflected. And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooters. Now, here's Ball. He has seven. Shot clock at five. And it's Elijah Wan with the jam. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. You know, when Marvin Bagley entered the league, there were some questions as to which position would he play. But the versatility he brings is special. He can guard a number of positions, score inside and out, and he is a tremendous rebounder. To the middle. It's stolen by McGrady. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Detroit trails by 10. Out left to the wing. Bagley with a wide open look. Good, and it's McGrady who picks up the assist. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has, easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. To the inside, it's stolen by Begley. Now Detroit moving it up. Stolen by Stevenson. And here we go. Carter Williams heading to the hoop. This is what you admire about Carter Williams. The way he glides up the court in transition, knowing exactly where he needs to be. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Fifty-eight seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside, Batum. Offline with his three. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Pass to McGrady. Here's a bonus. He's guarded by Stevenson. To the paint. Here's Bailey. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game. And the fans here, they know it. Good on the three-point shot. What a valuable asset to the offense, having a big with that kind of range. Pass to Bamba. Sinks the 15-footer. Bamba's got his first points in this one. And, guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. I love it. Really, both teams running plays that fit the personnel going back and forth. And so it's the visiting team in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Take care of the basketball, being disruptive on D. That combination has them out in front. Stevenson can't hit. Detroit trails by six. Won't. No good from outside. Pass to Carter Williams. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sabonis. And here's Stevenson. Five to shoot. Here's Bailey. Bagley with the rebound. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Detroit. They trail by six. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Stevenson outside. Pass to Bamba. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Bamba's got five now. And that's from beyond, guys, right back at you. This is looking more like an all-star game right now. Everyone launching from range. Back to McGrady. Now, here's Bagley. They get the rebound. Sabonis. Here's Murray. Second chance shot. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And that huge frame of Sabonis is a problem for the defense. Excels at getting perfect position on that offensive glass. And here is Ball. Seven points in the game. And that one's good, Shumpert. And that's how you get your confidence going. Shumpert just... Catching and firing. Now ball. Here's Elijah Wan. Bagley with the rebound. Pass to Wallace. Back to McGrady. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Over to the left wing. It's stolen by Smith. Three on three. Here's Wallace. Out to Smith. Ball with a wide open look. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. That's 10 points for Lonzo Ball. Now a timeout called by Detroit. It's hard to disagree with the timeout here as the team badly needs to regain focus. They're out of sync offensively, way too many turnovers, and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace, their brand of basketball. And Detroit has possession. Nine-point game. Inside, there's Maker. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Pass to Elijah Wan. And Maker sends it back. Got a piece of it. On the wing, Arenas. Nailed from three-point land. Arenas has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And the basket by Maker. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Elijah Wan. And he banks in the layup. Olajuwon's got his second basket of the game. And that's just too deep. Olajuwon with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. Now Stevenson. 
Now a jumper running. He can go all the way. And he comes up with the deuce. Shumpert's got five points in the quarter. More of a 3 and D guy, but Shumpert knocks down the mid-range. It's stolen by Amon Shumpert. Here's Wallace. And the slam by Wallace. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Pass to Maker. Six on the shot clock. A second chance effort. Josh Smith pulls it in. Here's Ball. And Ball slams it in. And Ball being aggressive there with his penetration. Seizing on any open space to get to the basket. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there. But they can't count on him to continue missing. It's blocked. Four on three as they bring it up. Outside Arenas. Forty-one seconds left from the first half of basketball. Detroit needs to get off a shot. Isaac misses. Out to the right wing. The drive by Elijah Wan. Gets it to fall from the right block. Elijah Wan's got six. I love how Ball moves the rock. Incredible instincts on the offensive end. Here's Turkaloo. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. There's the triple. Sinks the triple. He's got five. He has great instincts on the offensive end. He's tough to contain. And so it's the visiting team with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. Back to the action after this word. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Detroit trails by six. Outside Arenas. Pass to Maker. There's the three. Another three for Detroit. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Isaac up top. On the wing, Arenas. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. Carter Williams with it. Pass to Batum. Here's Bailey. The baseline J. Batum, good. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Outside Arenas. High arcing shot. Baker. No one around him. Another three for Detroit. Their third three-pointer in a row. And that one is good. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. And Michael Carter-Williams gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Timeout called. Yeah, 
right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Here's Ball. He's got 12. Pass to Elijah Wan. Rebounded by Maker. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. The visitors with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Elijah one. Smith left side. Elijah Wan trying to break free. And he lays it straight in. Elijah Wan's got eight points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Outside Arenas. Kicks it out to Turkaloo. This one for three. The shot, no good. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And that one's good, Shumpert. And the team wants Shumpert to be a 3 and D guy. Just has to be more consistent out there. Oh, he launched that one from way outside. But Brady's got his second basket. Always a threat. Three-point land that time was seriously expanded. Dropping dimes all night. He, he's been completely locked in. Unselfish basketball, that'll make you very popular amongst your teammates. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Got that one up quick. 15 points for Lonzo Ball. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And oh, here we go with Wallace. Nobody back. Good look by Shumper, right on the money. Detroit trails by 10 to the paint. Here's Turkaloo, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. Another triple, and that's been the story of this second half. Coming out of the break, they've relied on their perimeter offense to generate points. Right now, it's working. Arenas, good. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. The try. Oh, yes. Goodness. I mean, I hope you can appreciate the torque that that kind of move generates. He just has that natural explosiveness. The dream is something to behold. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Outside Arenas. It's rebounded by Carter Williams. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Gilbert Arenas. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Batum. One nineteen left to play in the third. Here's Stevenson. Good on the shot. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. That's tipped. Right side, Batum. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Batum's got four points now in the quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's McGrady. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. And McGrady has accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game. Keeps that high release point on the jump shot. And not being as aggressive 
from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First one falls for him. And Stevenson drops them both. Taking advantage at the charity stripe like he always does. Terrific touch. Here's Turkaloo. It's tipped. They recover it. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. I don't get it. He was so efficient in the first half. Zero turnovers. But since the break, he's been a disaster. And you can see his wheels are turning. We'll see what he draws up here. It's been an ongoing battle of adjustments, trying to identify your strongest matchup each time down the floor. for Detroit. And when you can't hold for the last possession, that's what you want to try and do. Patience and execution. You need both here. We'll see what they run. Back to Stevenson. Outside Batum. Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. Good on both. Here's Stevenson. Yeah, and even with his range, that one might be asking a little too much. Well, the truth is, he probably makes this shot a little more often than he should, so it's hard to resist. And so it's the visiting team. Uh, and with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Now here's Carter Williams. Pass to Bamba. Outside Batum. Knocks down the three ball. Yeah, you, you see the killer instinct. He's going for the death blow. True story. They've got a monster lead that's taken a life of his own. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Stevenson outside. Here's Bailey. Over Bagley. And the basket by Bailey. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Pass to Bagley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And we saw this from Bagley in college. He has very good touch around the rim. Here's Batum. Outside for Carter Williams. And here's Batum. Oh, that's blocked. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touched by Sabonis. Down low. Carter Williams. And Carter Williams slams it in. Adjusting himself in the air. MCW showing the coordination and the tremendous reach. Pass to Sabonis. Shoots over Bamba. Here's Stevenson. Up and in on the way. And defensively, neither side able to get many stops. Well, this is when you need them. Late in the game. It's not all about scoring. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Now Carter Williams. Pass. 
pass to Bailey. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Bailey's got five points in the quarter. Now here's Stevenson. Here's Wallace. The teardrop falls in. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. To the middle. Here's Bamba. Smart play there. Well-timed roll to the basket. Bamba's got intelligence off and on the court. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. You know, for the most part, their perimeter D is holding up, but they might have to sacrifice some of that to close down the lane. Got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. Let's see if that pep talk got him going, guys. Yeah, ferocious at the rim. Bagley can finish with power or finesse. Pass the ball. Got a piece of it. And now Detroit moving it up. McGrady outside. Here's Bagley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He's a real wrecking ball inside. Once Bagley has solid position, you almost have to foul it. And so he hits both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. To the paint. Here's Elijah one. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Detroit, no good that time either. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Ball with it. Zabonis grabs the board. Stolen by Ball. One forty-one left to play here in the fourth. Smith outside. Lock at six. Back to Ball. Detroit with the rebound. Pass to McGrady. And a miss there on the triple. One twelve left here in the fourth quarter. Outside jumper. Now here is Elijah Wan. Over Sabonis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First free throw is good. Hakeem Olajuwon. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 58 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Shumper with the steal. Here's Olajuwon. And it's Olajuwon with the jam. Yeah, might as well tack on a few more points to the lead, I guess. This is going to be a dominant win for them. Never much doubt on how this one's going to go. They just totally outworked them today. Here's McGrady. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Hakeem Olajuwon. And he knocks down the first one. And McGrady drops them both.
Here's Ball. It's blocked. But they recover it. That one a little long. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Sabonis with the bucket. An unselfish guy who enjoys setting his guys up. Bagley has impressive vision for a big fella. Here's Smith, and he uses the glass on the layup. It's fine to extend your defense to try and create turnovers, but, but guys have to help each other. That's been a problem for them all game. Teamwork is something you just can't turn on and off. Here's Shumpert. And slam dunk by Shumpert. And just putting the finishing touches on this one. They have been on fire. I mean, a fantastic run. The guys are really clicking, and the scoreboard reflects that. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Arenas. The visiting club takes the win on the road. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. See you next time.
We're through the first round and it was Upset Central. Heat Check Gaming took out the top seeded Blazer 5 Gaming and the tournament Knicks are back taking out second seed Mavs Gaming. Top four seeds have been eliminated, so this thing is wide open. Let's see how it all pans out.